Hey, welcome everyone, it's KB here. So in this video, let's talk about the end of Windows 7. Yes, if you don't know, Microsoft has officially stated that starting from the 2020, January 14th, they will end the support for Windows 7. So the main reason I'm making this video to tell you guys what to do after 2020 if you use the Windows 7. And I'm also gonna tell you guys a secret trick for those people who is planning to move to the windows 10 from windows 7 but if you're a guy who is like nah brah i'm gonna stick with windows 7 i like it so i'm gonna tell you the way to keep using the windows 7 even after the end of support and uh, it will be a little bit costly but if you have your money you can still use the windows 7 safely because without a microsoft support your windows 7 will be unsecure because you will never get the security updates so if you want to read the statement you can always do the google search end of support for the windows 7 and you can see here support for the windows 7 is ending all good things must come to an end even windows 7 after january 14 2020 microsoft will no longer provide security updates or support for PCs running Windows 7. But you can keep the good times rolling by moving to Windows 10. Mm, actually, they are saying that you should move to the Windows 10 because the Windows 7 is unsecure. Actually, it's a good thing to say from the Microsoft because uh, I'm not saying that the Windows 10 is the best operating system by the Microsoft, but after the end of support for the Windows 7, it will become the one of the best OS made by Microsoft Windows 10 because Windows 7 is and always be the best OS made by Microsoft. But now the normal people like us are being forced to move to Windows 10 because if you want to keep using the Windows 7 after the end of support, you can, but you have to pay the extra cash. So let's talk about the people who have lots of money and they just want to stick with Windows 7. Then those people can buy the extended support thingy uh, from the Microsoft and they will keep your Windows 7 up to date and they will push you the security updates so your device will be uh, you know always secure from the viruses and all that kind of stuff so you can see here one year extended support license cost you around not around like fifty dollars if you buy the two year hundred dollars three year two hundred dollars so this is really costly actually so if you don't have any money i'm sure you know the normal people like us will never buy the extended support. Uh, I'm pretty much sure that the extended support will be bought by lots of companies or the people who, you know, have lots of money and they just don't want to move to the Windows 10. But if you're a guy who is thinking to move to Windows 10, then there's a, actually an amazing deal for you guys maybe it's not publicly said by microsoft but it's amazing thing so let me clear one thing for you guys so people who have a windows 7 they can actually get the windows 10 for free so what you have to do is you have to do a clean install of windows 10 and when you're installing the windows 10 uh, it will ask you to enter the key so what you have to do there is that just enter the windows 7 key and your windows 10 will be activated so make sure that you have to do a clean install you can't just activate the pre-installed windows 10 with windows 7 key you have to do a clean install and you have to enter the windows 7 key when you're installing the windows 10 that's a tip from me the people who want to use the windows 10 and they don't want to use the windows 7 
uh, after the end of support so if you're struggling actually there are lots of tutorial on internet i have seen lots of videos lots of articles on it so you can search on google and you'll find lots of tutorial on how to use the windows 7 key in windows 10 and you'll get it so that's it and the main reason i'm making this video is that why you should not use the windows 7 after the end of support so first thing let's clear this thing out if you're planning to buy a extended support for the windows 7 then it's okay it's okay to use the windows 7 but if you're not gonna buy the extended support for the windows 7 then it's not okay to use the windows 7 after the um, end of support so let me try to give you an example by drawing a doodle <laughs> i'm gonna do it for the first time again what was the paint 3d so let me give you guys a little bit of idea how this works i mean lots of people already know what happens after microsoft ends the support for the os everybody knows that okay so let's say this is a microsoft ms and this is a windows 7 and this is a virus okay so the thing is when microsoft won't support the windows 7 that means the windows 7 will never get the security updates if the os never gets a security updates os gets weaker and to the other side virus thingy virus hackers anything so the virus hackers can easily hack your computer because your computer or your windows 7 is weak to defend itself because microsoft is not pushing the latest security updates to the windows 7 so that's the main reason the only thing you have to worry about but if you're a guy who is like never use the internet on your computer then it's okay <laughs> you know it, it will be fine you just do the game without internet yay you can use the windows 7 without a problem so to clarify this one more time so the thing is the tech field is always evolving and upgrading so same thing happens with softwares computers hardware doesn't matter everything is just evolving so the windows 7 will no longer evolve and no lo longer will become a strong os because nobody is supporting it so it's just windows 7 is dead after the 2020 but viruses malware hackers will not stop evolving they will keep evolving and they will keep growing and they will become like stronger stronger so like for example if you have a windows 10 microsoft st still supports the windows 10 that means windows 10 will be keep getting the latest security updates that means windows 10 can actually defend itself from the viruses and hackers but windows 7 is just dying in 2020 so that means it will get weaker 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 and the viruses and hackers will get stronger 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 and they can easily attack the windows 7 that's the only reason why you should not use the windows 7 and other thing is like you know do you know um, i mean you know obviously do you remember the windows xp yes everybody knows the windows xp it was the best os made by microsoft but you know windows xp you can't game on it you know you can't do anything like you do in windows 7 or 8 so same thing will happen with the windows 7 coming like 5 to 10 years windows 7 will be like xp which can't do anything you know what i mean which can't run a new softwares properly and all that kind of stuff because microsoft no no longer loves your windows 7 you know they just don't love the windows 7 anymore and the people who use windows 7 <laughs> actually the technology is like this they just keep evolving so the evolution of windows 7 you can think that this is windows 10 
Windows 7 has been uh, evolved into a Windows 10. So you should move to the Windows 10. If you're a normal guy who use lots of internet, software, all that kind of stuff, you should. But if you have money, you can still buy a extended support for a few years and you can use keep using the Windows 7 if you want to. But, you know, I'm not saying that Windows 10 is the best OS. You know, people hate the Windows 10 because of the privacy thingy and lots of bloatware, you know, all that kind of stuff. But I don't know, man, every OS is just like this. You know, nobody likes any OS even like expect the Linux. Linux is like this, you know, people, a lot of people say that Linux is the best OS in the world, something like that. Linux is secure. I understand that because nobody uses it. But if everybody starts to using it, the people who are bad, they will start creating the viruses which can affect the Linux too. So it's, I don't know, does it make sense? I don't know but you know I just don't want to talk too much but that's the only reason why you should uh, not use the Windows 7 and use the Windows 10 instead so that's it so if you're planning to move to the Windows 10 then I have made some videos about Windows 10 you can check them out I'll put link in the description for them you can go there and watch and have fun if you like the Windows 10 and uh, for the Windows 7 users are IP Windows 7 we will always remember you <laughs> something like that so yeah that's it guys hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like comment and subscribe and yeah we'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.